It's that time of the show when we have to say we only have time for one more guest. Can't believe it. Right here on the Travel Michigan radio program. I'm Dave Lorenz along with George Zimmerman. And George, who would that last guest be? That would be Patrick Bryce, the marketing chair for the wineries of Old Mission Peninsula up in the Traverse City area. He's also with the Bryce Estate Vineyard and Winery. And Patrick, uh, first of all, uh, beautiful area. We had a spectacular fall up there, I assume. Absolutely. Um, and thanks for having me today. Um, yeah, the fall has been um, quite late, actually, for us here on Old Mission Peninsula. Yep. Um, we're looking at, you know, peak color on the uh, Old Mission around the middle to the end of October, which usually for us, that's maybe uh, earlier, maybe the early October to mid-October. So we're a couple weeks behind, but that's actually great for us and the grape business because uh, it actually has extended our growing season just a few more weeks to capture just a little bit more heat and uh, get those grapes to ripen even further. Yeah, I never thought about that. Uh, the uh, The fall color is kind of tying in with the uh, production of grapes and other other produce. Uh, is it the sunlight that you kind of need and kind of stretch them out a little bit, or is it the warmth? Uh, uh, it's actually everything. The, the cumulative heat in the atmosphere. They, they measure it and they call growing degree days. And we actually had a, a cool start to our growing season in 2013, So uh, although the summer was nice and warm and we actually hit above average temperatures, um, we did need to play a little catch up from that early uh, spring kind of coolness. So this uh, extended fall has been a great thing for us. And I know a lot of the winemakers up here are very happy about it. And so where, you know, where are you in the, as far as your seasonality of, you know, harvest and, you know, production and that kind of thing? What's happening this time of year? Well, harvest uh, typically is, um, you know, in October, yep. um, and uh, it, normally it starts in earlier October. This year it's starting in mid-October, and so likely um, it will go through uh, mid-November or so. Um, I know at Bryza State here we grow eight different varietals, and each of them tends to ripen at a different point, so we kind of harvest as they uh, come online, so to speak. So... Um, it's, it's about a month-long process, and it does tie in with the fall colors, which is why I think a lot of visitors uh, enjoy coming up to the wineries of Omission in the fall. Um, it's just a beautiful time of year here, and then they can see catch some of the harvest action as well. Yep, absolutely. Now, so what is the um, – obviously, the, the, the wine business up there has done phenomenally well. Um, do you still – are there still – do you expect more wineries to come online? And, and where are you now as far as number number of wineries on the peninsula? Well, the wineries of Old Mission Peninsula, and if people aren't familiar with where we're located, we're actually just north of Traverse City, and uh, Old Mission Peninsula actually splits the Grand Traverse Bay in half. So uh, surrounding Old Mission Peninsula is, you know, the uh, west, um, to the west side is the West Bay, and the east side is the East Bay, Um, and uh, it's just a beautiful area, and there's about eight wineries now on Old Mission Peninsula. Um, this is up actually from, we opened our doors at Bryce Estate in 2005. There were, we were the fifth winery to be on the peninsula. And I know at this point there's two additional wineries who are uh, looking to open their doors hmm. uh, probably in the next one to two years. So we could be at 10 wineries soon. I know that our, uh, our neighbor peninsula, the Leelanau Peninsula, now uh, definitely over 20 wineries over there. So, uh, Definitely, the Michigan wine industry has grown uh, exponentially in just the last 10 years. Um, there's now over 200 wineries now in the state of Michigan, uh, producing over a half million cases each year. And they've estimated that uh, the Michigan wine business is now uh, an $800 million dollar has an $800 million economic impact wow. uh, annually. You know, Patrick, why why has the uh, winery industry grown so much in the Grand Traverse area? It has to be more than just the, uh, you know, the, the land itself. And uh, why do you think that's been the case? I think that, um, you know, most people associate, at least who live here in the United States, um, they associate California with the wine-producing region, you know, for our country. Right. And for years, they've just Uh, drank California wines and enjoyed California wines. And so when new uh, regions come online, um, often there's some skepticism maybe as far as whether they can produce wine or whether it's going to be as good as somewhere else. Mm. But I think what people have found, um, especially over the last 10 years with the increasing quality of Michigan wines, that they really are uh, fantastic wines. They're definitely different than the California wines that you might uh, purchase from there. However, they're uh, unique in their own way. Um, the whites tend to be crisper, uh, have a little bit more acidity. The reds tend to have less tannin, uh, and some people who have 
issues with headaches, you know, regarded to uh, tannins uh, in red wine, uh, tend to prefer our wines. So I think that there's just been, uh, it's just every year getting a little bit more popular, uh, and people are catching on to the fact that Michigan produces some fantastic wines. Um, you know, Michigan, um, because of the influence of the Great Lakes, uh, is actually the second most diverse state in the country agriculturally. So we can grow more things in Michigan than any other state, with the exception of California. So uh, we are doing, I think, phenomenally with the wine. Uh, the grapes do phenomenally up here um, uh, with the uh, microclimate created here by the Great Lakes. And uh, I think people are catching on to it. You know, you, you mentioned that you've got eight, or eight on your peninsula, 20 on the next one. Um, be pushing 30 wineries i guess is there ever a point where there's too many can you does that or is it is really more more always better in this case i think that people like to have uh you know consumers like to have choices Mm -hmm. and uh every winery who comes to the scene i know for old mission every every one of the eight wineries is completely unique in its personality and its approach um the wines even you know taste different from even though they're grown in a very similar uh, microclimate, they do taste different, the influences of the winemaker, the owners, um, and the personality of the winery. Um, so, absolutely, I think that's... Patrick, um, you know, in the summertime, uh, going to the various wineries in the Traverse area is really very popular uh, activity for all those summer guests. At this time of the year, when you get into, you know, late October, early November... Uh, I'm sure the crowds aren't as, as big, but I'm sure one of the, the big activities they like to do is to, to check out the, the wineries and such. Are, are you uh, finding it just a little bit easier to handle the crowds this time of year? You know, actually, October for us is our busiest month of the year for wow. the wineries. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's tied in with the fall color and the interest in the harvest activities. But I know here at Bryce Estate, um, you know, our Saturdays in the fall are, are definitely the bus- busiest time of the year for us. Um, certain Saturdays in October we see uh, we'll serve over 1,200 guests in, uh, in an afternoon. So um, it's definitely very popular in the fall, um, I think, because of the color tour. But, you know, uh, Saturdays being very popular, the you know days during the week and even Sundays are much less uh, crowds of people are coming up here and they're wanting to do a wine trail, but they're not necessarily interested in, um, you know, fighting the crowds or, or waiting. Um, definitely we recommend, uh, if you can, adjust your plans to come on a, on a weekday or even a Sunday. You'll have a, a much, you know, calmer experience at the wineries. Um, that also, uh, you know, if you have a certain wineries that you're interested in visiting, we always recommend, and, and, you, and you have to come on a Saturday, we definitely recommend um, calling and just seeing, you know, what are your peak hours for the day? Because, Every winery has its its kind of peak time, and if you could come maybe a little bit before or a little after that, um, it may you know be more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I guess the other thing is that people may not be as conscious, but you're you're basically open year round. Most of the wineries are open year round, correct? I mean, as far yeah, uh, on Old Mission, I, um, one of our wineries is not open year round, um, but the, uh, the remaining seven are. Yep. And um, we I know at Bryce Estate we're open daily um, through the winter months. Yeah, so people should, people should just remember that. I mean, you're there, the the atmosphere is there, and, and when there's snow on the ground, there's just the added attraction of that. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many ways to, to see the wineries this time of year, whether you're uh, driving from uh, winery to winery in Old Mission Peninsula or perhaps uh, taking a bike uh, up the peninsula. I see a lot of people do that. and I've even seen kayakers go to some of the uh, yeah. the wineries uh, from place to place on, on Old Mission. So plenty of ways to get there. You're going to always enjoy it, especially with uh, uh, some friends and your designated driver. It's the, the way to go. If you'd like to find more information, just go to winariesofoldmission.com. And uh, that's where you'll find it. And Patrick, we want to thank you for joining us today. Patrick Bryce from Bryce Estate Vineyard and Winery and Marketing Chair of the Wineries of Old Mission. Well, George, that's all the time we have for Travel Michigan this week. It is. We'd like to thank uh, Mark Blackwell for engineering today's program. And on behalf of George and Michelle back at the office, invite you to join us next week right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.